All right, guys, today I'm going to try and explain uh, QBasic palettes. Um, it's a rather confusing subject. Uh, it seems simple enough, but it actually can get very convoluted uh, with the way the EGA and VGA standards were created. Uh, I'm going to try and simplify it. In uh, screen 7 and 8, that's the 320 by 200 and 640 by 200 16 color modes. You have 16 colors. You can rearrange those 16 color in different orders, but you, you can't actually change the color values. This is what you're stuck with. In the uh, 640 by 350, you can change those colors, and you can change them from a palette of 64. So you can change any of these colors to be any of these colors. In VGA, you can change them to whatever you like. So in the 640 by 480 mode, uh, you can change any of these colors to whatever you like. Uh, the red, green, blue values will range from 0 to 63. Uh, so you can make all those different color combinations, as well as the 320 by 200, 256 color MCGA slash VGA mode. You can change these colors as much as you want also. So you can change the values from 0 to 63 for red, green, and blue. Now, um, let's talk about the EGA modes. Uh, and I'm going to bring a little program here just to demonstrate things. Uh, let's first run this. Um, let's go to our main program here. And we're going to start off with screen 12. That's the VGA screen 640 by 480. Just to show you what this program does and that it actually works. So we have a custom palette here with a couple of images. And so these are not your standard uh, default colors. These have been modified. Uh, and they, if we change the, uh, let's take a look at the code that actually changes the palette. It's in our set VGA color. And we're using the built-in palette command, and we're using this formula. So this is a common formula for converting the red, green, blue values into a huge number, which the palette command can understand. Also very convoluted. I don't know why Microsoft chose this way, but they did. So this is how you do it with the default uh, commands. And uh, it, it all seems to work. Um, with the VGA mode. Now, if we switch to, let's switch to screen mode seven. This, so this is the EGA 320 by 200 by 16 colors. And let's see what happens. And we're told that it, the in the palette command, it's an illegal function. And that's because the palette command only works in the EGA 640 by 350 and VGA modes. That's the th uh, 320 by 200 by 256 colors and the 640 by 480 by 16 colors. So the pilot command can only work in those modes if you use in the built-in commands. Now, this is all true um, up until the VGA standard was created. Once the VGA standard was created, you could use what's called uh, the DAC color modes. So it's a digital to analog converter, uh, basically that allows you to change the values for each palette. And that means you can change the palettes for any of the modes as long as you were using a VGA adapter and a VGA monitor. You could probably use something better than a VGA monitor these days, but for the sake of simplifying things, when you have a VGA card and a VGA monitor, these rules shouldn't apply anymore. But because everybody got used to how the limitation was created with the EGA standard, nobody bothered to use more colors in the 320 by 200 and the uh, 640 by 200 EGA modes. None of the examples I've seen and none of the things I read bother to introduce this. And this is 
perfectly legal. It's not some hack that works in uh, a DOS box. I'm going to demonstrate this on an actual 20-year-old uh, laptop that's sitting beside me. I'll switch to that in a bit, but let me just show you that it actually does work. Uh, I will be using the out command, and I'm going to show you some problems with that first. So let's uh, comment this out. We will not be using the built-in palette command, and I'm going to uncomment these out commands. These basically change the uh, DAC values, the red, green, and blue for each color index. And let's see what happens when we uh, when we run this. And if you noticed, uh, it actually worked, kind of. Um, so we're in screen seven, and when we run it, at least the first eight colors seem to change but we're, we still haven't been able to change the, the remaining colors. And I don't know if this is a flaw or just the way it was supposed to work, but if we do, if we make this change, let me just show you. If I uncomment this line and now uh, whenever we uh, select a color that's greater than seven, uh, we add an offset to it. So it's a different color index basically. And let's see if that fixes the problem. So for screen seven, it works. And uh, let's also try changing this to screen eight. So this is the uh, 640 by 200 mode. And so it, it works in that. But let's try the screen nine. And that's the 640 by 350 EGA mode. And that didn't work. Uh, so you see it worked for the first uh, eight colors, but not the remaining ones. So again, we're, we don't have a complete solution. So let's go back and edit that uh, subprogram. And um, this time, I'm going to comment this line and uncomment this line. So for some reason, if we're in screen 9, it just doesn't work. We need the different offset. So let's try it now. And that fixes that problem except we have a new problem. If you notice, uh, color index six, the uh, brown color shouldn't be brown. That's not the color that we're setting. So that doesn't completely solve our problem either. So, and having to make these adjustments uh, each time doesn't seem like a good solution. So. Let's just put this the way it was before, and I'm going to switch to another piece of code that solves all our problems. So if we switch to set VJ color 2, I have a completely different function, different code. Uh, so we're using the uh, interrupt number 10 in hex code. And we're, we're making some, uh, some calls here to the BIOS. And uh, if we substitute our function here, sorry, subprogram, so let's say, change this to set VGA color two, and let's see if that fixes our color, our color problem with the, the brown color index number six. So if we look at that, now it's it's the right color. It's no longer brown. And all we did was change the, uh, the function we're calling. So let's try that with the other modes. Let's try screen mode seven. And that works in that. And screen mode eight. And let's try the uh, VGA mode. It works in that. So we have a a sub program that works in all these different modes. Now again, this only works if you have a VGA card and a VGA monitor. It's not going to work if you're still using an EGA card hooked up to an EGA monitor 
or, or whatever is compatible with that EGA card. This code will not work. But as long as the, uh, the computer you're running this code has a VGA card and a VGA monitor or better, you can absolutely change the uh, EGA color palette in all these different modes uh, to support a, a, a larger range, basically. So what was limited before on screen mode 7 is no longer limited. So let's uh, let's try this with a a real computer. So right next to me, I need to move my uh, webcam just to show you. There's a there's a real computer, and I'm going to switch to that on the screen here because uh, focusing the uh, webcam on the screen is not a good idea. So let's just switch to that and there you go so you're seeing what I'm seeing in front of this notebook and I have deluxe paint and uh, if we take a look uh, let's, uh, let's exit out of this first just to see what modes I'm entering so I'm using Windows 98 and I'm running a DOS program on it so Let's try the EGA320 by 200 and I'm going to show you that our options for editing the palette are not very good. So we basically can only change the red value to two different values. And the same thing with the green. So whatever colors we change they're still part of the default 16 color palette. So we can't do much with that. But if we exit, let's exit. And let's go back into Deluxe Paint again. And this time, if we choose VGA 320 by 200 in 16 colors, there's no actual VGA mode that's 320 by 200 it's the EGA mode and let's see what uh, deluxe paint allows us to do here so if you notice we've been able to make four different color changes when sliding this even though the values will range differently from uh, 0 to 100 uh, we're actually only changing the color value only a few times. And this allows us to have a bigger palette selection. Even though this is the 320 by 200 EGA mode, Deluxe Paint calls it VGA because it's manipulating the uh, DAX. So this is not a new thing. It's It's been done before and this is being done on real hardware. I just wanted to show you it's real, not something I made up. But it hasn't been really um, something that most QBasic programmers know you can do. So now I'm going to create a QBasic folder here. So I'm going to run the same program. And now that you can see I'm actually on a real DOS machine or Windows 98 machine that can run DOS programs. Um, I copied over the same program I was showing you before. Let's run it. And you can see that it works the same way. So this is a 320 by 200 mode and we're able to change the palette here as well. So this is on real hardware and, and this hardware is over 20 years old. So this is not something new. It's It's been supported all along. It's just nobody realizes this and nobody uses it. So hopefully uh, I'll, I'll clean up the code a bit, put it on my GitHub. Hopefully more people will take advantage of the uh, 200 line EGA modes now uh, and use more colors. So thanks for watching.